Habitat improvement is widely accepted as the most sustainable way of improving wild fish stocks. Before this is attempted, it is advised to assess water quality to ensure it is capable of supporting fish life of various species. Careful site selection will ensure improvements have the best chances of success. Here in the Murloc Burn, the local angling club have worked with Quilcha, the forest managers, to remove conifers which were overshadowing the river. This, the little spawning burn, the club obviously identified this as an absolutely critical habitat in, in terms of how it supports. Invertebrate life, a good biological indicator, is being assessed to ensure this water course has the fundamental requirement of good water quality. Tolerances of those to, uh, to pollution, particularly to all, um, organic and three tails, yeah. stone fly groups we've got two and they've got that distinctive sort of side to side wiggle like yeah. that. Agapetus, uh, like a micro sedge, that build little stone cases on The volunteers are seen here introducing large woolly debris into the watercourse. Various methods are used to pin and stake this to the bank. Large woody debris provides bank protection and stabilisation in high energy rivers. It also importantly provides cover and protection for the fish from predators and is great food and habitat for invertebrates. When you've got um, a bank like this where there isn't a lot of cover, because it's fairly, um, it's like a clay bank, not a lot of vegetation on it. Um, what we've done up there with lots of brash can take a long time to put in. If you've got these long conifer tops, they're a great substitute um, where you're not too worried about bank erosion and you just want instant cover. Um, and just snedding up the back of them so they sit tight into that corner and then drilling a hole and pinning them in and that's all you need you only need that one and that'll hold it in position through hell and high water so uh, that's how you do it I'll let you guys have a go <laughs> we would like to highlight that all relevant statutory and non statutory approvals including landowner permissions should be sought prior to commencing any improvement works <laughs>